Hi. Um, I'm Otito Rafael. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi, uh, taking geospatial engineering and space technology. Uh, I represent GeoWiz as a co-founder where we connect student professionals and companies. I'll be talking about uh, GIS applications on smartphones and open source softwares for disaster risk reduction in a project we are doing to, with the aim of uh, mapping the whole of Kenya. Before I talk on uh, how we, we are going to do it, I want to talk about uh, why we'll do it. Uh, such disasters, when you find when they happen, uh, specifically in Africa, um, in Kenya, most of the times you don't have the data needed uh, to, 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 to do um, the response. And we all know that uh, the simplest tool for a response is, uh, is a map. Um, that just shows uh, the level of detail uh, in, in, in Kenya. And uh, when compared to Nairobi, the level of details in Nairobi is much higher than uh, the level of details in, in Kenya. So what strategy are we using? Uh, we have developed this strategy of uh, a cheap, uh, effective, and uh, quick tool where um, we involved uh, students from the University of Nairobi or any other university interested, uh, relevant stakeholders, and uh, smartphones up, and uh, laptops for which have uh, open source software, which I'm going to talk about later. The users in this kind of information will uh, people like NGOs, uh, government organizations, or any other interested party. Um, some of the, OK, um, before I talk of the tools we use, uh, this is achievable through trainings where we do our trainings in the communities, um, with the universities, just to tell them about GIS softwares and, and teach them how to collect data yeah, using these apps in smartphones like uh, OSM Tracker. Uh, we did a project in Madara where we used this. It's a quite a powerful tool where you collect data, you take uh, pictures which are geotagged with their coordinates and, and all the other information. Uh, these are the analysis tools. Uh, you have QGs, you have JOSOM, which are quite powerful. Um, and a database uh, for storing static maps and a web platform for storing live maps. Uh, things like Ushahidi and uh, uh, OSM community. Um, we realized that when most people collect data, they just go like that and no follow-up is needed. So we, uh, there's a need for follow-up. There are Facebook pages, Twitter, and a WhatsApp group just to to see the dynamics of data after the data collection have been collected. <coughs> I'll be talking about frontline SMSs. Uh, it was set up in Wadare and a project we did with UNESCO in 2014 quite well. We set up trigger points uh, at, at, uh, at zones around Wadare. So um, you have a, a, a crowd of SMSs coming to your platform and you can verify them. Most of them are quite trustful. And uh, it's, it's a good tool for uh, dynamics. Now, what you see behind is, uh, is a small study we did at the Kandutu slums in Dika, uh, where we collected uh, data just to study about the fire risk uh, uh, situation in Kandutu slums, an informal settlement in Dika. So that was the data collected, and that uh, shows how it was loaded in Josam. Um, after analyzing it using QGs, it was found that there are no open places for, for, for in, cases of, uh, dis uh, in cases of fires. And uh, this just shows you the level of risk is in, in cases where as some of these disasters happen. And most of this data is not available. Um, there's need for community involvement such that when you collect the data, you involve the community such that uh, they feel empowered and they feel informed about what's going on with their, inside their community. And those are just the, the applications we, of the data we intend to collect all over Canada. And one is the decision, of ma decision making, which is policies informational purposes and for academic works, mostly in the universities or 
any other college. And we intend to provide uh, free information and free maps for any interested party. Yeah. So um, for any more details, you're free to see me uh, after this. <laughs> Thank you so much.